Look at that! Destiny is back in the water again. And I'd love to go sailing right away, but there is just one more little thing to do. The old rig on Destiny was more than 10 years old. Reason enough to change it. Some cables became rusty anyway, and you don't want to mess with the rig. So, safety first, an all new shiny rig. We decided to take the mast down for the rig change. The positive things about that is, you can check the whole mast easily for anything. I, for example, changed all the light bulbs to LED, installed a new VHF antenna and a new anchor light, three color light combination. I got new wires through, checked the whole thing on anything that goes wrong or does not look good. Oh, and by the way, you can change all the rigging at once, super easy. Die, nee, die pressen das oben im, im Workshop. Ja, genau. Die pressen das selber. One big question for the new rig was, should I go one size bigger? That would have meant from 8 mm to 10 mm rig. Strange, a boat without mast. Here is what I figured out. Don't do it. If the size was 8 mm from the builder, keep it that way. Okay, enough of that. Let's put the moss back up and go sailing. In the meantime, my family was back on board. Eva and Johannes came from Germany to sail the Caribbean. So we did some provisioning and the day after we sailed down the Rio Dulce. We had a bit of bad weather at first. The last days of the raining season were hanging deep in the sky. But the day after it cleared up and we had a beautiful time motoring down the Rio. Rio Dulce in Guatemala is a wonderful place for sailors to hang out, find shelter for hurricanes and do some work on the boat. It's super protected and has everything a sailor needs for his boat and crew. I met wonderful people there and refitted my boat in about six months at a reasonable price. to find the right way to read the river like to find the deep spots is it outside is it inside but we're getting used to it and it works pretty good it's uh, water depths between 3 meter 50 and 15 meter so big difference it always depends if there is a river coming into the river or if there are narrow spots and like narrow spots are more washed out and deeper a lot of kayaks and Canoes are on the way transporting things from here to there. Beautiful villages, little palm trees all around us. The cliffs are pretty good. To sail down the Rio itself is very impressive. Monkeys, pelicans, tropical birds. The river is winding between steep cliffs in wonderful jungle. Watch out for fishing nets in the river by the way.
At 6 o'clock in the evening we arrived at the anchorage in Livingston. It's not recommended to anchor off in front of Livingston, but it's also not recommended to drive down the Rio in darkness. High tide tomorrow was very early and this was the time when we needed to cross the bar. So we dropped anchor right in front of the bar at the opposite side of Livingston and locked our dinghy. All good, friendly people, no problems. Livingston over oh, here, this is the bar where we cross tomorrow. We found a nice little anchor spot on the other side. Everyone said not to anchor in Livingston. We tried. <laughs> the thing about Rio Dulce is the bar. The bar is the shallow entrance that divides the salty Caribbean Sea from Sweet River. It is basically mud that got washed out by the river building that obstacle. With only about 1.8 meter of water depth in the channel, it's not even deep enough for most of the sailboats. Destiny has a draft of 2.2 meters, which is way too much for going over the bar by herself. So we just get pulled by one fisher boat, Wally 2, and Wally 1, that's the other one, is pulling us aside. We're almost on the bar. This is Livingston, water depth is 1.9 meter, our draft is 2.2 meters, so we just get tucked through the mud. Spring high water at the entrance to the Rio should have a plus of 45 centimeters. That would lead to 2.25 meters of water, which we actually didn't have. The wind plays such a big role that it's almost impossible to predict the water level at a certain time. So what we needed to get through this morning was one fishing boat to heal us over, while another one towing us. With healing over more than 30 degrees we got tucked out. Make sure you stop your engine while doing this. The handbook of our Yanmar engine said that it will run dry beyond 30 degrees, means the engine gets no oil. There's stuff flying around on the inside. What's it flying? Almost done, I think. But we're still hitting the ground. But it's, um, it's okay. It's just mud and sand, I guess. 15 minutes later, we have been out in the sea. We were dropping the lines. The fishing boats turned around to Livingston and left us alone. Wind came up and for the first time we pulled up the sails and sailed out to the Caribbean Sea. What a magic moment. We spent one night on anchor in Bahia La Garciosa. The next day, 6 in the morning, we headed over to Belize, about 60 nautical miles, something like 10 hours sail. The next weeks we will explore the islands of the second biggest barrier reef of the world by sailboat, Belize.
our new guest on board of Destiny. Simon flew in from Germany. He will join us all the way up to Mexico. So, welcome on board. enjoyed it. it uh, it's really fun. Tief ist jetzt. Was liegt aus? Rein auf den Grund. <laughs> One month, no problem. Oh, don't lose it. I don't lose it. Oh, jeez. <laughs> huh? Are you repairing the boats? No, no, I do that. that. I will see the lobster traps. Ah, oh, the traps. Yes, that it's the lobster traps. Ah, lobster traps. Yeah. Schau, das sind die, mit denen ist die Lobster fangen. Yeah. Die grillen da einer. Ich glaube, ich habe die Pfeile da oben und dann haben sie drin. Da können wir es nicht mehr raus. Das ist die Lobster Schaub. Das ist die Lobster Schaub. Die Lobster Schaub sind so, dass die Lobster gehen, oder? Wenn ich die Lobster gehen, dann kommt die Lobster die Lobster gehen. Du hast ein bisschen some old fish in it, right? Or, no, 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 not all the time. We just put them on the rock. Those rocks we put in it and just shove it in the water. Oh, okay. But sometimes they put in the cow hide on it, the skin of the cow. Put them in, but not all the time, we don't have it all the time, so we just... So they go for the shelter or... Yeah, yeah. And yeah. they just trap them too. Yeah. 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 
Was dann wasch die ab und dann gehst du wieder raus. Pescaria. Pescado. Pescado. Do you have fish? fish. Oh, yeah, this is yeah. yellow snapper, huh? Yeah. Wie viel nehmen? Drei. Drei? Tres. Oder vier? Oder vier. Das ist ein Schön. make it like this? That's good. You want to set me up this? How much do you get? Stop, stop, stop. Let's go. Then we'll come back later. A little bit of a run? No. I don't know. 
Un poco de... Es ron de Guatemala, es muy, muy bien. Un vasito que un trago. And we have more. So this is yellow snapper. The next day in the morning, we took up our anchor and sailed 190 nautical miles to Mexico, Isla Cozumel. If you feel like sailing now, check out Neograph.de to join the next expeditions in 2019. For example, September and October in the Mediterranean Sea, November and December 2019, the Panama Sunblast experience. Big shout out to all the sailors. All the best from Destiny. Mm. <laughs>